Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about what is pulse code modulation that is PCM. As we all know there are two types of modulations. One is analog modulation and the other one is digital modulation. Uh, pulse code modulation is one of the uh, digital modulation. In digital modulation we can see pulse code modulation then DPCM, delta modulation and etc. Uh, we can fibularize all these things in this first module. Okay. So pulse code modulation is simple and easy. So let's discuss about pulse code modulation. Pulse code modulation is a digital representation of a sampled analog signal. We are modulating a signal, an analog signal for transmitting that signal through a digital network okay and the transmission is done in digital form okay is it clear the technique by which the analog signal gets converted into digital form in order to have a signal transmission through a digital network is known as pulse code modulation this is the definition of pulse code modulation in module where Baki eight topic in Okel, Namkuman Slavla. Number Ivade, number pulse code modulation, chain the Nana chain, number analog signal, number digital form Akimatana. At either binary form lake in Amlumatum, binary coded pulse Akinamlumatum, and PC Amilla Namka Sherikim Barayanagi, three parts on a First one is transmitter then transmission path and last one is receiver side okay uh, what is happening in pcm in a brief we can see what is happening in pcm at first the analog message signal is first sampled that means we will pass the analog message signal through a sampler then the amplitude of the sample is approximated to the nearest set of quantization level. After passing the analog message signal through a sampler, we will pass the message signal through a quantizer, thereby generating a discrete signal. After quantization, we will get a discrete signal. This discrete signal is then converted into its binary form for the transmission of the signal. Okay. So, we can transmit the signal after it is converted into a binary form. The signal gets transmitted in the coded format and that will be decoded at the receiver in order to have the original message signal. In the transmission part, the encoding takes place and at the receiver part, the decoding takes place. The transmitter performs the sampling quantizing and encoding of the signal that means the major steps that is happening in the transmitter side is one is sampling then next one is quantizing and encoding sampling means we will convert the signal into a discrete signal in time and after quantization we will get a uh, signal which is discrete in time as well as in amplitude and uh, and then we will pass the signal through an encoder and we will get a binary form of the signal. Binary coded pulse will be there. Okay. Let's have a look at the steps in the PCM as I have already told. Sampling is the first step. The analog signal is passed through the sampler. Then what happens? The PCM takes the samples of the amplitude of the analog signal at the regular intervals that is PA. We will get a pulse amplitude modulated signal after sampling. Then we will uh, pass that through a quantizer. The amplitude of the PAM will be quantized to nearest amplitude level. And then we will encode the signal. Encoding is taking place. That is one and zeros are produced. Quantized PAM signal is encoded to binary sequence output of the encoder will be a pulse code modulated signal what is meant by a PAM signal the amplitude 
is modulating pulse amplitude modulation am i right okay uh, message signal as well as carrier signals will be there okay for the proper transmission we have to modulate a signal the amplitude of the carrier is being modulated in a pulse amplitude modulated signal for the proper transmission okay.